Hello, my name is Desmond Miles and I am from the future. How are you? Let me take your money. See ya. Okay, so I just want to have a look at things. Before I do the main story, I want to have a look at the map and see what kind of side things there are. So there are thief assignments. There's the main mission, obviously. Upgrade all these buildings, which I won't do prioritally. Um, there is an Ishkar thing right over here. It's the sixth one. Or maybe over here or something. It's on a blue building. I know exactly where it is. Um, but there's also a viewpoint here. I can't do those just yet, though. Now, I am a little worried. Like, are there actual side missions I can do? Like, um, like, uh, tombs or just side missions, literal side missions, like contracts and stuff like that. Because there's only one thief assignment. Or will they be unlocked later? Or do I need a map to be able to unlock them all? But either way, it doesn't really look like there's much to do. We've already got the Animus Fragments that we need. We've completed Desmond's Memories, and we only need one more Ishka and one more Viewpoint. So, I think we should head on to the main story. Which is a hidden tomb for some reason. I found that very odd. Why is it a hidden tomb? Either way, there should be... Um, a parachute... Not parachute. I need to buy parachutes sometime. Um, yeah, there is a fast travel point over here. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Yes, there's too many people here. But first I need to, un I need to open up a blacksmith. Because I want to get some ammunition. Yes, hello, mate. I am the Bernardo Sultan of the Bailey. The price of excellence can only be measured in gold. Okay, repaired all. Let me get the braces. There's nothing with real damage yet. I want something for speed then. This. Small weapons. Macedonian. Yeah, Macedonian seems like it will be okay. For now. Crossbow, I really want to save up for a crossbow. Ingredients. Cool. Weapons unlocked at the Assassin's Headquarters. Thank you. Alright, time to head for that fast travel point. So, where is it? Hippodrome? Ah, oh, whoops. Hagius. No, wrong button. Sorry. Um, is it the Great Bazaar? No, Southport, Sophia's shop. Oh, it is Sophia's shop. Buongiorno, Merava, please come in. Oh, excuse the clutter. I have not had time to tidy up since my trip. Okay, my game's lagging slightly. I will be right back. You sailed from Rhodes, no? That should be better. See, how did you know? We were on the same ship. I am Ezio Auditore. You're Desmond Miles. Sophia Sartor. Have we met? We have now. May I have a look around? Prego. <laughs> Most of my best tomes are in the back. Desmond! Your face! <laughs> <laughs> Ezio is talking, and I'm like, I got over this in Brotherhood. Desmond talk. I'm Desmond's voice. I'm mouth moving while Ezio's talking, but his face it just resembles it. 
The Polo's former trading post may contain hints as to the location of the Masiev Keys. Investigate the area to reveal any secrets. I need to change my outfit back because that looks scary. I'm... <laughs> oh my god, that's scary. Okay, so <laughs> inventory, outfits. I'm gonna go for Altair's robes. Hopefully this doesn't reset my whole mission. Press V to use Eagle Sense. It is nice to meet another Italian in this district. Most keep to the Venetian Quarter and Galata. Sophia Sartor. I'm Sophia Sartor, quite a lady, don't you think? Polylingual, multicultural, hyper-intelligent, and mature beyond her years. We know she was born in Constantinople sometime around 1476, and lived there with her family until the beginning of the Ottoman-Venetian War. That was 1499. A really bad year for Venetians living inside the empire, inside the empire. Sophia's parents dragged her back to Venice, but she could never forget the city where she was born. What's that saying? You can take the girl out of Constantinople, but you can't take the Constantinople out of the girl. La, something like that. And that painting of her, I could stare at it for days. That's by Elbrecht Dürer, the well-known German artist. It's a masterpiece. Glowing with warmth and colour, Sophia's father offered Dürer a ridiculous sum to paint a portrait of his daughter. But when the painter finally saw his model in person, he declined all payment. He claimed the honour of rendering her would be reward enough. Right, only hotshot artists getting, can get away with sap like that. <laughs> Though her interests were broad, Sophia's primary passion was for literature, a love made possible by the invention of the printing uh, press half a century earlier. For the first time in history, books was qu were quite cheap and available to almost everyone. Sophia loved the democratizing, democratizing effect of books and made it her life's work to make sure everyone else did too. So I'll you're a writer, or I at least book the water with Venezia would have driven most of you away. I lived here with my parents when I was a girl. The war pushed us out, but I always knew I would return. Pretty nice. Target located. Have you found anything interesting? Mio Dio! Who put that there? Incredibile. Where does it lead? Why don't we find out? Oh my god. Who are you, Messere? Only the most interesting man in your life. <laughs> oh, che presuntuoso. Go bury your head. To Sophia. Goodbye. I will return in a moment. It's actually Ezio in Altair's robes. I expected it to be Altair. Does that mean that was Desmond's skin, but it was actually El um, like Etsy's beard and everything? That that's weird. Holy shit, that's weird. <laughs> I wish it was Desmond's clothes from Revelations, though. They look cool, even though they're in the Animus. Do you know how long we've been searching this filthy system? I've been here a few weeks. Thirteen months. Ever since the Grand Master found that damn key. But he hasn't got the clue what he's doing. All he knows is that somewhere in the city. This is a big city. Toxel. That's what I said. Back to your post, Ayrtes. Alright. Um, do not be detected. Secret door in Sophia's shop has been brought, has brought Ezio to an underground cistern filled with Templars. Investigate the cistern, but be careful. Now, if I rape that, if I just, if I just raped that pronunciation, I'm sorry. I really am. <laughs> Alright, so we have to not be detected. That's pretty easy, hopefully. Ah, oh, that lag. Um, the Abertian Cistern. Or Kistern. Uh, the Abertian Sanasi, or, sun or Sunken Cistern, is the largest underground cistern in Constantinople. Originally used the bas as a basilica, hence its alternate epithet, the bas um, Basilica Cistern. This once grand public place, with its many hundred of marble columns, was converted into the 6th century CE into a water storage facility for the Byzantine Palace complex situ um, situated immediately to the east. 
After the fall of the Leighton dynasty and the restoration of the Pal... -la 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 -la, I don't even care anymore. <sighs> okay, so let's get a view of my surroundings. No one is here. I thought there were people here. I'm guessing they're in the next area. Which one will you get first? You won't go for the right one. Because technically I was near both of them, so maybe it'll crush the game. I'm kidding. So yeah, this mission's actually going to be pretty annoying. Because you can't get detected. get some bombs out. Okay, so splinter bombs, smoke screen, and smoke decoy. I'm gonna go for a splinter bomb. Kill the Templar captain to get Look the next alive, gate key. Eh? We'll pay you to wash the doors, not your feet. That sound went weird. <laughs> Hi. Seriously? Oh, that's bullshit. Boom. Okay, gonna use a poison dart. Ah, uh, my sound, my uh. My voice went really weird there, I'm sorry. She seems quite well out of no, that tall one. Oh shit. Somehow familiar. God damn it. What's my difficulty on? Is there a difficulty for this game? Because that guy noticed me and didn't do shit. Um Controls, graphics. No, I don't think there's actually a difficulty in this game. Another mercenary, I suppose. Oh, that guy is going to notice me if I am not careful. So, if I'm lucky, I can just jump on this guy that's over here. But not when that guy's nearby. Seriously? Oh, fucking hell. Alright, this guy. Completely forgot about him.
That was, um... That was funny. Oh, that guy jumped down, so... Yeah, I didn't get noticed. Yay! Bombs are awesome. <laughs> I wasted one of them, but they're still awesome. Okay, um, that didn't... That didn't search him properly. <sighs> I'm happy you get the key off him automatically. Okay, I think there's still a guy alive. Because there's a red dot on my menu. Or whatever you call it. Yep, hi friend. Oh, two of them. Well, I killed them all. Again. I only used two bombs this time. I started using throwing knives instead. <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore those two guards. Continue exploring. Good, this crafting area. Oh, boxes. <laughs> Petros, make sure we have enough torches for the excavation. I'm tired of stumbling around in the dark. Wasting my throwing knives accidentally. Okay, so there's one, two, three over there, and there's that guy. 
and then my target. So pretty simple. Um, I do want to be able to hold onto this, but I guess it won't let me. Ah! Who made that sound? Nah, they don't ask that. They're not smart enough. Just to, I didn't even notice it half the time. Um. Oh, pardon me. Um, I'm gonna use this. Bomba. Oh, you didn't hear that? You got really deaf ears. How do I even get up there? I'd have to like jump from a higher place. Oh, I want to get up there. I didn't actually mean to do that. Okay, so instead of instantly going after me because you get hit by a throwing knife, you ignore me. That's nice, actually. I like that. But at the same time, it makes you look like an idiot. I need a way up there. Stop stop trying to hit me. Oh, are you dead now? Can I search your body? Die. There you go. <laughs> Thank you very much. Got my two throwing knives. <coughs> and I could have hit and blade him from here. Whee! I never knew how to get up here to be honest. I'm like, how do I get up here? When I la when I first played this, I mean, I never knew how to get up here. I just went past the area. Salt of Petra. And now I have assaulted Petra. Ow. Continue exploring. This lonely guy over here. So lonely. I am so lonely. I have nobody to call my own. Uh. 
Pumba. There is someone down here with us. Keep your eyes open and your hands steady. Well, there is someone with you. The being steady is not gonna help. Okay, who is it? Who is the person? It is you. It's gonna be poisoned. Actually, no. I want to kill all your friends. And then you're going to be like, Why? Why would you do that? And then I'm going to kill you. After you have a mental breakdown, of course. But still, I am going to kill you. I love these poison darts. That is so cool. What the fuck? Why are you guys so stupid? You're all by yourself now, friend. Even though that didn't really go as I planned, but I'm just gonna rob all your friends. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh boy, he just went back to walking. That was his own mistake, honestly.